So today I'm going to look at a story and share a story with you from my book, The House Whisperer. And it concerns an architect and uh, being an architect myself, this grabbed my attention when I went to see this lady. And one of the main issues she had was that she was single, would like to um, have got into a relationship. And as we were sitting in her front room, uh, I became aware of a man in spirit by the fireplace. Now, jumping back a little bit, the whole area um, of this part of North London, uh, and this was in the 1930s era, and a particular architect had um, quite a quirky way of designing houses, and he became quite well known in that area for um, some really interesting designs. And so having become aware of this uh, male energy, um, the more I tuned into him, I realized that he was actually the architect that we are referring to, who built this house and many more around it. And I shared this with the owner, and uh, she told me his name, and that he'd actually lived in this particular house that she had bought and is was living in at the time. And um, what I'd understood and felt was that she was in a codependent relationship with this architect, with this man. But of course, that's a bit of a strange one because he's not in 3D reality, he's in spirit. And we can have, of course, relationships with people in spirit. Uh, it could be with uh, teachers, with loved ones. Um, but in current time, you want to be in a relationship perhaps with a real person. Um, and so the decision she had to make was, would she like him to move on, move out, to make space for a real man to come into her life? So she kind of said yes, and uh, we worked on that, released this um, interesting architect, um, and that, that was it. So what that meant was actually what she felt. She actually felt quite empty and a little bit bereft because the place was now empty because her, rela her relationship with this man in spirit had suddenly been put to rest, put to closure. And she was left with now the potential of attracting a new man. So let's see what happens. And uh, I'll share with you the next part of the story in another episode.